Hello friends, welcome back to Reviews by Dennis. Today I got another product that I want to bring to your attention. Hello friends, welcome back to Reviews by Dennis. Today I got another Sumpery item that I wanted to bring to your attention. Uh, today I'm going to be telling you a little bit about and showing you the Sumpery 18 inch grill brush and scraper barbecue brush. Um, this is a bristle free safe barbecue brush and this is the pouch that it comes in. Nice drawstring pouch. So I'll open that up. And as I said, it is 18 inches. So that way you got a little bit of arm's length because most people, when you're cleaning the grill properly, you want to clean your grill while it's still warm. And being that it's an 18 inch handle, uh, it gives you a little extra reach. So that way you're not getting right in there and you don't have to worry about uh, the heat bothering you. But here's what it looks like up close. Look at that, isn't that a mammoth? And this is bristle free, which is really nice. I don't know if it's ever happened to anybody watching this video, uh, but I have had it happen to be in the past where uh, you use a uh, brush cleaner to clean your grill, and sometimes those bristles will fall out of those bristle, those bristle brushes uh, that you use to scrape your uh, grill, and they sometimes they'll hit, hook up like on the side of it or in where the two grills meet, and it'll just sit there, and then next thing you know, you're flipping your meat, and you don't even notice it get out of there because it's dark and it's singeing the meat, and you know it's just. Uh, a, a, a really unsafe thing that that can happen by using the brushes that are bristle uh, made with bristles uh, but this is really nice as you see here it's got this nice scraper with all different um, you know depths here to be able to meet the needs of many different grills and then on this side you got the three different um, rungs of um, continuous like it's kind of like a mesh if you see up close so that way you don't have to worry about the bristles coming out at you and each one is on this handle that's kind of flexible so as you're giving it some strength see it's got a little bit of bend to it so that way it'll kind of work as you're um doing your your um grill cleaning i don't have an outside grill uh but this is still a beneficial item for me as i do have an indoor grill which i use and unfortunately the damage that's on this grill um was done before beforehand and that's our central cooking spot as you see there on the lower part of the screen um, but this is really nice to be able to help get in between each of my tines here to help make sure I get all the old um, you know old meat and, and grease and and uh, you know fats and and just stuff that's burnt on in there but just overall you're just gonna want to you know give it the you know heave hole back and forth and again it works best when you do it when it's still warm um, but you're not just limited to using it for a grill uh, it works really well on your your stove tines too I don't clean my interior of my stove very often because most of the time I'm using, um, you know, cookie sheets and stuff like that. And at the bottom I have like one of those um, kind of like a silpat thing to like catch drips and stuff like that. But this will work just as well on one of these. And I don't know if I could show you on camera, but I'm going to do this section on the top here. As you can see, that's the color of it there. I'm just going to hold it here and kind of scrape it back and forth and see if I can show you what a difference it makes before and after. And this is without using any, you know, cleaners or liquids or anything like that. Let me make sure I get the center portion. Yeah, it came pretty clean. And that's just, you know, real quick, a real quick demo of it being used. You see it cleaned it up, scraped it up pretty good. Because you don't want to, you know, eat that old charcoal stuff on there. It, it is like... It's not, you know, really safe long-term to be eating, like, a lot of that stuff. Um, it's, like, carcinogens. And, um, plus, you, you know, sometimes when you're using your outdoor grill, uh, different foods will stick to the grill. And that's going to affect the flavor of, uh, say, your next meal that you're cooking. So if you're cooking something one week and then you don't use it again for a while and then you cook it the following week and it's a different type of meat, that's going to affect the flavor. So if you're looking to make sure you're getting the maximum flavor of a particular barbecue meal you're making, make sure you're, you know, you're giving a good clean down in between. And the best way to do that is to clean it, you know, just before you're done for the night. Wait till all your food's done, you know, clean it off and then serve your meal, you know, keep it under a hot lid to make sure everything stays warm and just clean it while it's still warm and uh this uh tool here by slumpery will really help you um utilize and be able to do that i think overall it looks really good it just looks mean like it's going to chase that uh that burnt and disgusting this away from your grill so i mean overall i think it's a great item but don't just take my word for it check out the link in the description below and thanks for stopping by today here at reviews by dennis take care folks bye bye Oh, and just as a note, um, when you do order this particular item, you'll get a little, um, kind of like an e-booklet with uh, tips 
and instructions for like barbecuing and uh, barbecue care and stuff like that. So it's just a nice little incentive to get that. Uh, you'll get it like I had mine emailed to me when I ordered this, uh, and it came like a day later. Uh, so if you don't get it right away, don't don't you know don't worry. Um, but it is it's like a seven six or seven page thing that just you know just gives you basic information on barbecuing, uh, like temperature meats, like what you know what's low, medium, rare, and stuff like that. Like the temperatures when using a temperature meat thermometer and stuff like that. Okay, thank you very much, folks, for viewing. Have a great day. Bye-bye.